So a while ago I told you guys that we had a little secret in the shop. I think it was the studio makeover video. There was something that was hidden, it was turned around and you guys couldn't see it. So, I really have to stop saying so. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys that today. I'm going to show you how we made it. I'm quite impressed with it. Olivia absolutely loves it and we can't wait to have it in our shop. It's also something super easy that you guys can do and you can do it if you have a Cricut. So let's get into it. So first of all, what you're gonna want to do is create your images for the notepad. Now I've got mine already done here. I did them a while ago. And what I did was I still used a background like I would with the stickers, but these ones are a slightly more pink color. And I did three of them. So we've got a potion bottle, we've got a crystal ball, and then I did just a normal square. And then we also created just a simple backing card for them to go on to as well. Now mine are already set up here and I'm not gonna go ahead and do it all again because that would take forever. But if you do want a video of me showing you exactly how I got to this um, step, then that's not a problem. Leave it in the comments below and we'll sort one of those out. So I've got all these ready, they're all in. These ones are in groups of nine and then you've got some that are in groups of six and then you've got your backing card. Now remember, your backing card is whatever size you make it, but you have to have room for all three of your other images to fit on there. So don't make them too big or they're not gonna fit in that backing sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start printing and cutting because that is what takes quite a lot of time doing it this way with the Cricut. But your cut is gonna be so great that you're not, you know, I don't know how you would cut it out without the Cricut, to be honest, but but it's going to be amazing. Trust me. The finished product of this blew my mind. So let's get into it. Next up, we're gonna glue these notepads together. So we've got card and we've got the clips for it. And then for the backing card, we like to cut the corners so they're nice and curved. And then we also have a stamp because we like to stamp the bottom of them with our name on them. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so each notepad is 40 pages, but I always end up adding an extra one. So there's 41 and that way when you're gluing, along the edges it doesn't matter if you get glue on the top layer because before you package it up you just rip that off and it's lovely and clean ready to go out i 
Okay, so these are ready to be glued. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna pop on and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. So I will see you in a minute. And there you have it. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now, I wrote down a couple of things that I wanted to share with you at the end that made it easier or mistakes that I made as well at way at the start. So I actually have three Cricut mats, which makes it a lot easier and a lot faster to do. Otherwise, you're having to reload the same mat over and over again, which takes a little bit longer. I actually plan on having another two, which means I'll have one for each sheet which makes it even quicker. You probably get it done in 10 minutes instead of a half an hour for each little, little notepad. The tips that I have though are gluing. If you're gonna glue them, where is it here? My mistake that I made was I glued along the bottom of this one and I think this one maybe was glued here. Now, the only thing with those is, is as soon as you take them out of this packet, because they're glued at the bottom, they'll fall this way and then it just rips sheets off. So if you're gonna do it like this, my handy tip is glue them at the top and that way they can't flip forward and rip straight off the page. And I also, in the video I showed you, I added an extra sheet on the top so that when you're gluing, you don't damage the top sheet for the customer that's buying it. So you can just rip that off before you package it up and it's done. So that's it for this week. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you find this video pretty handy, because it is kind of handy. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.